Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Inner ear fluids. So let's compare that is it includes perilymph and endolymph. So first we'll be looking at what is perilymph. So this perilymph is found in the bony labyrinth. So perilymph is found in the bony labyrinth. Next is what is it very similar to? So perilymph is very similar to that of the ECL, that is the extracellular fluid. So what is this very rich? It is rich in the sodium ions and the formation, the formation is the filtrate of the blood. So it will be the filtrate. It is nothing but the filtrate of the blood or it is directly from the CSF or directly from the CSF. Next is we look at the drainage. So what will be the drainage? So drainage will be into the CSF. So drainage will be into the CSF via the cochlear aqueduct. So this will be via the cochlear aqueduct. So this was about the perilymph. To just recap, perilymph was found in the pony labyrinth. It is very similar to the ECF. It has high amount of sodium and formation is by filtration filtrate blood and csf and draining is by the csf there's a cochlea into the csf where the cochlea aqueduct now on the other hand what is the endolymph so endolymph is very rich in viso sodium so here it will be potassium so now let's look in sequence so this is found in the membranous labyrinth so it is found in the membranous labyrinth and it is very similar to that of the ICF, that is the intercellular fluid. And what is it very rich in? So this is very rich in the potassium. And what is it? What about the formation? The formation is, it is produced via the stria vascularis. So it is the stria vascularis. So this is nothing but the endolymph. Then how do you drain? The drainage is by it is absorbed through the endolymphatic sac so absorbed by the endolymphatic sac it is absorbed so endolymph membrane is labyrinth it is uh, in similar to icf potassium ions it is formation is produced by the strivascularis and the endolymph sac it is the drainage it is absorbed through the endolymphatic sac to learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.